Hi and welcome to the session. I'm Priyanka and I'll be helping you with the following question which says, Here are two different factor tree for 60. Write the missing numbers. Now this is one of the tree which is given to us in which 60 has been split it into two factors that is 6 and 10. As we know, 6 multiplied by 10 will give us 60. Similarly, we are given that 6 factors should be 2 multiplied by which number that mean that will make it 6. Between these two numbers, there is always a multiplication sign. Similarly, between these two numbers, there should be a multiplication sign as well as in this. So, we need to fill in this question mark in both the cases. Now, let us think about it. We know that when 6 gets multiplied by 10, it will give us 60. So, what number we should fill in here, which on multiplying by 2 will give us 6. So, we'll directly divide 6 by this number to get the number which we are looking for. So, that comes out to be 3. So, the answer to this blank is 3. Whereas, similarly over here, which number we should multiply by 5 so that the result becomes equal to 10. In the same manner, 10 will get divided by 5 so as to get the unknown number and then come out to be 2. So the answer to this is 2. Right, so this completes as it is given to us the factor tree which was given to us. So I hope you enjoyed the session of the first part. Now let us carry on to the second part. Proceeding on with the next factor tree which is given to us. It says fill in four of the blanks which are given to us. Right, so let us start from the top. Now, 30 should get multiplied with which number so that their product becomes equal to 60. So, we'll divide 60 by 30 to get our answer and that comes out to be 2. So, the answer to this question mark is 2. Proceeding on with the next one. 30 should get divided by 10 so as to find the missing number and that comes out to be 3. So, this blank will be filled up by a number that is 3. Proceeding on further. Now, here we need to fill in both these factors. So, let us think that which two numbers should get multiplied by each other provided they are prime factors which will give us the answer as 10. We know that in the table of 2 at 5 we get 10. So the answer to this will be 2 and 5. Right? Because 2 when multiplied by 5 will give us the answer as 10. So this completes the second factor tree which was given to us. I hope you enjoyed the session and found it interesting too. Bye for now.